Hello, it's Amanda here, Creative Gardener. Welcome. Today, we're going to be looking at the Black Sage. We have looked at it slightly before, but we're going to look at it again and all the problems, or one of the problems, one of the main problems that you can get with it. So, I'm right next to it, so let's go. All right, come on then. So here we have my black sage plant. It's been growing really, really well. I'm pleased with it. I had put it, um, did I find it actually? I didn't plant it actually. It just appeared in one of these tires. <laughs> well, in this particular tire and it's subsequently appeared in different spots in the garden. I'll probably show you those as well. Um, so it was probably a bird that had dropped the seed and um, yes we've got one here so it has these um, red seeds that come out just there and um, so the birds come take that and then drop it around the garden or somebody else's garden so this has really grown quite well. I mean, I've just allowed it to grow. Um, I love black sage herbal tea, green tea. And so this one, in terms of its growth, is doing really well. But there is a pest that um, it has that I've been fighting with. And these are the they're called leaf hoppers and they come in a variety of I'm just trying to zoom in you can see there you can see here now the ones that we have in our garden they're purple some are purple some are white but what they do is at the tips of the um the plant that's all of oops, that's the bath. That's their eggs there. Let's see if I can give you a really good picture. Look at that. So it's their eggs, and you've got some babies, and you've got some growing at different lengths. Now, what I've been doing is um, making a solution of oil and soapy water, and when you spray the plant. You know, obviously the, the, the seeds, the eggs, the dust that they produce goes away, washes away, and they fly off. And then you think, good, I've got them under control. But the reality is, is that they just fly off. Sorry about that coming out so quickly they fly off and some of them have been going in this particular tree or collection of trees there's three here um, and trying to lay their eggs on the underside of the leaves but they've not been totally successful I have seen it on other I've got several other of these trees and I've seen them trying to make a home but it's the black sage which they are you know enamored with so I've cut it back recently as you can see as it's getting quite tall and I'm trying to get the leaf hopper under control so I thought with the soapy water that you know it's a soft body insect so it would be immediately um, you know, killed, dry out and kill it. But they've prevailed. And I think I sprayed it yesterday, sprayed them all off. What I can't, what I've not been able to do is get on the underside of the leaves. So where they've come at the tips, I've sprayed them and it's gone, but then they're on the underside of the leaves. So I have to get that sprayer that I have. It's a pump spray to see if I can get underside the leaves so let's have a look at other places that they are in the garden um, so what I'm going to do with this before we move on is I'm going to cut it right back I've cut it back quite a few times and left 
some of them have been you see the just the branches here now but the leaves go black and I've got some here so that I've cut but here's another little plant growing and you can see the um, problems it's disgusting I hate it I hate it no but um you know obviously I have to get the problem under control or we'll be you know whole, whole garden will be infested with them and luckily at the moment they just hang out on this plant so what I'll probably do is cut them back quite a bit let's see if we can see any the small ones moving around there see there's some small ones there seeing how close oops seeing how I was trying to see how close I could how close can you go them anyway so I've got so a plant here so again cut them right back I'll probably have to make up some neem oil and they also go on so wherever they can on so that had been cut back but I found them on the branch themselves and as we move around here I've got <laughs> one just growing there so this one doesn't seem to have any on yet but just give it some time so i'll cut this back a few times because it was just like do i really want it growing right here along the path and then the other place as we move around back here this was the back here was the first place i i saw it and I saw this plant and I was thinking, what is that? Um, I wonder what it is. So this is a, a nice um, one here. And I was so made up when I found out it was black sage. It was just like, oh my gosh, I've got black sage and I haven't had to plant it. But, you know, obviously the seeds were here because when we came, it was actually, none of this was here. So it was just like, well, you know, how did it get planted? But as I said, it's, you know, the um, birds will drop the seeds in their poop. So again, this one, it's growing quite big, but in places it's got the uh, pests, the leaf hopper, and they're called leaf hoppers because they move around, like when you approach them. Like I have shown you in one of my other videos, but yeah, the infestation is quite a lot, so I'm gonna have to um, get rid of them, you know, using natural remedies. But their colour's so pretty, and that was the thing I was taken by. I was thinking, what are these lovely little moths are so delicate, and then as I said, they move around. They're very, their eyesight's very good. So if they sense anything coming, they will move around the branch um, to try and avoid it. Just getting up now. But that's my black sage. It tastes lovely in tea. Um, but, you know, seeing all of these, I have been quite reluctant, but if you give the leaf a good wash, or well, there are some leaves that they're not on, I, I usually take the ones that I don't see them on and well any of the plants you have to give it a good wash because you know I'm not surrounded by neighbours who use organic um, remedies for dealing with pests so you have to be careful and we're on a slope so any runoffs you know you have to be careful but um, yeah that's a black sage but it's it you can use it as a smudge stick as well, I normally go back. I normally um, cut several branches, tie them up, and then within a few
few days, maybe five days, you can use them. You just light the ends and the smoke that you get from them is uh, clearing for the air. It's not that much smoke, they don't burn uh, for that long. But, um, but yeah, it does have a, a nice smell actually. And um, it seems as if the mosquitoes, well, when you light it, they don't seem to like it. So that is the black sage. I just thought I'd give you a little update of um, how it's growing. But as you can see, it's growing really, really well from the small plant that was here that I thought, oh, let me just let that grow there. Um, but I, I like the way that, you know, in terms of, you know, I've got my little <laughs> um, bridge, the bridge too far, and um, my tyres, and now the plants are actually growing well. So, take care for now. Let me know if you've got black sage, you've got this particular pest, then um, please do tell me what what you're using on the leaf hopper and um, if you are new and you haven't yet subscribed please do subscribe take care for now